<clears throat> Take two. I'm back here at the 50,000 watt AM station here in the Phoenix Valley area. The last time I was here, which was yesterday, I showed you how putting uh, this radio into a foil pouch wasn't enough, and then I put it into a galvanized steel trash can, which was enough. Those two forms of shielding was enough to block out the 50,000 watts of AM signal. I wasn't happy with that. Uh, I went home and I was playing around with that pouch and I found that there was something wrong with that pouch. It wasn't blocking even the signals from my Wi-Fi router anymore. So I came back out here to find out what it takes to actually block 50,000 watts of AM. I'm fairly confident it's going to be three, four, or five sheets of aluminum foil. So that's what I have here. I have one, two, three, four, five sheets of aluminum foil, which will act as the the, uh, the shielding, how much density I can put on this. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it up in some wax paper because honestly when I was at the store um, I had to buy something to wrap it in because I forgot uh, the paper and the cloth that I was going to bring. So um, it's going to be loud for a little bit because I need to crank up the radio in order to hear the volume through the foil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn the radio on. I'm going to lock it so it can't be turned off accidentally because I, I've had some false positives with that happening. And then I'm going to crank up the volume and I'm going to wrap it up and we're going to see how many layers of foil it takes. So here we go. Okay, so it's locked. It cannot shut off accidentally. It can't be changed. So. Um, you can hear some warbling in the uh, audio, and that's because um, the AM signal is so strong it's overpowering the, uh, the uh, detector and selection circuits in the radio itself. Actually, I think it goes from like 1560 to 1590, and I, I still hear the station just a little bit. Um, so, But you'll hear it clear up as we put some shielding on it because that attenuation helps the radio circuits. Anyways, here we go. this does is isolate it from the aluminum foil itself. So here's the, uh, here we go with the first layer. First layer, not very good. Two layers. Still here very well. I'm crimping this over to get a good seal because what I think happened with the pouch was that it wasn't folded enough and sealed enough and I think there was some micro ducting going on where the signal was actually being forced through the, uh, not forced, but following the little channels of aluminum foil and the signal was still getting through. At least that's, that's what I think. I have no idea if I'm right or not. Okay, we are at three layers. And you can still hear it. So let's go to four layers. Again, I'm just rolling down this to make sure that the signal cannot get through. There isn't any channeling going on. And 
Now see, look, I've got some ripping here. That is not going to help. All right, I can't hear any music. I can barely hear any, uh, I'm holding this up to the microphone so you can hear. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in one more layer of foil. And what I'm doing here by crimping this is I'm ensuring that there's no I call it ducting or channeling. I don't know really what the issue is, but I don't want the signal to get in a little crevice and find its way through. I think that's what was happening with the pouch yesterday. So now we here we have five layers of aluminum foil. I can very clearly hear the static. I mean, I don't know if you can hear it in the microphone. Um, but there is no signal getting through here. So five layers of aluminum foil was enough to block out the 50,000 watts of AM, which I am a couple hundred feet from the, the AM sticks. Um, but just to, just to show you um, that the radio is still playing, turn it off so you could hear the um, the signal getting stronger and stronger into the radio which which shows you what uh, how much each layer is adding to the attenuation of the signal so that is as far as I'm concerned a positive proof that you can block very strong uh, AM signals and we already know from previous tests that three layers is enough to block uh, 9 million watts of FM tech um, uh, FM radio signals. So um, with this test, I'm going to up increase my recommendation to five layers of aluminum foil and then uh, an additional Faraday shielding uh, outer cage of, you know, say the stainless, I'm excuse me, the uh, galvanized steel trash can. Uh, you could even uh, wrap this in more, not this way. I would do five and then put in another Faraday cage and then even another one. But I think that five layers of foil and a uh, galvanized steel trash can is probably uh, the simplest and easiest way you're going to be able to uh, shield your electronics from EMP. This is Rob Hannes from the Preparedness Podcast, bringing you the best in preparedness information.